What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. First order of business is turning off dark mode via your literal lock screen. I, I'm I'm impressed. Um, I was not expecting all of this in iOS 18. Sheesh, Apple, you need to chill. What are you going to do with 19? But regardless, hey, we're only in the iOS 18 betas. We're not going to jump into iOS 19 and all that fun jazz, but... Wow, was I not expecting this. And when you edit, you can actually take the Wi-Fi toggles and say, okay, connectivity toggles, I want you to die. You can get rid of the connectivity toggles at the top. You can con customize con this control center on steroids. It It is no longer where you're actually locked, bound to a um, software. Like this software, besides some minor bugs that are currently in this beta, from my testing the last 15 minutes... I honestly could put this on my device, but let's get started and not get ahead of ourselves. The update came in at a full reinstall of around six to seven gigabytes, 7.11 gigabytes on my 15 Pro Max, a little bit smaller on this device, the iPhone 11, but hey, it varies based on the device. The right, first thing we're gonna get through business on, we have a build number that ends in the M this year. This means that we have a long journey ahead, but hey, um, Better, better late than ever. If you know the build number or remember what we ended in last year, leave a comment down below. But um, I know last year was pretty interesting. But this beta is jam-packed. Um, the first thing that I recognized when I went into settings was everything is completely changed. You have everything all the way down to your apps at the bottom. The whole settings has been redesigned from the ground up. I love it. My family that's not technically savvy, I like the little splash screens that you have here where it says literally like the cellular item and that you can manage your data and everything like that, the whole shebang. I like that feature because I get family that ask me like, oh, how do I do this on the iPhone? And I help them. But now if in a setting that they go into like accessibility and it is labeled with voiceover, but there's also a new haptic with voiceover too, by the way. So... Accessibility. We go into accessibility. Accessibility settings would like to send you notifications. Accessibility would like to send you settings would like to send you notifications. Don't allow. But All right, we'll do that. So here. Personalize iPhone in ways that work best for you. With it. Personalize iPhone in ways that works best for you. I like these little um, receipt like the little templates that we have. But no, the settings on Android and iOS are looking pretty much the same now. It don't. It doesn't really matter really anymore. It literally looks the same. It's not um, a big difference anymore, but I just like how it. Accessibility, vision, headache, voiceover, personalized iPhone in ways that work best for you with accessibility features for vision, mobility, hearing, speech, and cognition. Learn more link. And then there's a learn more link, which you can click on. I have not clicked on these learn more links to see where they bring you, if it brings you to a broken website or not. But yeah, that that's my first thing that I really like about settings is the little templates up at the top. Splash screens. Hope they stay iOS 18 now, settings will send you notifications for such things like accessibility for voiceover now. What's new in voiceover in iOS 18? This is actually pretty cool. So Apple introduced a passwords application, which is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to play with this for a little bit. But here are the pop-ups that came with that application when I launched it the first time. I'm launching the new passwords application for the first time. Here is a get started uh, guide. It tells you what it is. Then you hit continue which I took a screenshot of this. Here's another pop-up. It tells you again what um, other things and stuff like that and about all this fun jazz of taking passwords out of settings and giving it its own app. There you go. Actually pretty nice. I need to mess with the app for a little bit to give my real thorough thoughts on it. Man, I've been looking through and everything like that for the iOS updates. The only thing that I did not notice has changed is the Apple weather app besides the uh blue sky is a little bit darker blue more of a crisp blue despite my high um please say a prayer for me because it's hot but i'm inside where it's air conditioning testing beta software all in all it is pretty cool all the little snippets like there's a little um label for wi-fi bluetooth cellular all the whole nine yards and then on the newer iphones you can adjust the battery percentage limit on the 15s um 
you can have the phone charged to only 70% or you can have it charged to 90% or whatever. It is a slider now. So you can limit the battery as much as you please or fill it all the way up and just turn the um, limit to 80% or whatever it is. Well, it's 80% in iOS 17 until it's off. But I do like... And people are going to say, oh, well, we told you, Apple users. I do like the fact that I went from old legacy right here with these toggles to now, bam, that. Where now it's got its own little toggles. But if you want me to find out something new or what's new on iOS um, 18, almost called it 17, uh, let me know. But this is my first hands-on. I'm going to dig through the software and make a longer video on what's new and stuff like that. So, yeah. I'm going to dig through a lot of stuff and have a what's new video on iOS 18 betas um, coming soon. But this is just my first hands-on. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in a future iOS 18 video. Peace.